Hey everybody, welcome to my playthrough of Sunrider. Um, so this is a game that I've never played before. Uh, and I already recorded episode one and it was before I had a lot of stuff set up. So I'm sorry if it seems really weird where like my face cam is moving around and I like the stuff isn't populated. Episode two onward is going to be much more organized. Uh, I don't know really anything about this game. Except that it is, I was told it was a dating sim via uh, visual novel kind of thing meet super robot wars with the tactical rpg and the giant robots and the space opera thing so i'm really excited to see how all of that goes my first episode is a little bit lengthy just because i you know i, I was playing through uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna go with an hour long length on these videos or if i'm gonna go with a half hour length long length i'm thinking i might transition down to a half hour but i'm really excited to figure out more of where this thing goes uh, sorry, you're probably wondering, what about Legend of Dragoon? Well, I'm going to get back to Legend of Dragoon. It's just Legend of Dragoon is very slow to start, and it's a bit frustrating to deal with. Um, whereas this is just a lot easier to pick up and a lot easier to go. Uh, so I look forward to having a lot of fun with that. Having fun with you guys as you go on this adventure through space with me. On Sunrider, I don't know. I, I've heard, I see there's a lot of girls. I'm a little bit concerned with how it's going to fit with my other content because, like, it's an RPG, but I've heard it might be a little bit etchy. We'll see what happens. See if I have to, like, stop partway through or edit parts. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happens in this. I haven't actually watched the entire opening yet. So, with that said, I hope you enjoy episode one of my Sunrider playthrough. I'm actually, as I'm working on this, I'm going to be recording my second episode, which should be out next week. I want to make this a weekly series. Uh, where I do like a character build for Mutants and Masterminds, a Sunrider episode, or some kind of Let's Play episode, and like maybe a rules exploration or a book report for the other thing, because I want to get back to that goal of having three uploads a week. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. So have a great time, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, ting the bell for even more stuff. All right. Let's see if I get the good ending, all right? Uh, for, I, I was told, when I Googled this, I was told first arrival is the, uh, is like the, the first chapter. Mask of Acadius is the second chapter. So let's go over first arrival. Ooh. Please select your difficulty. Okay. Yes, I want tool tips. Um... I'm going to go with Captain because that is the way it was meant to be played. Part of me wanted to do visual novel mode, but nah. I'm, I'm going to do this. The story takes place as we live today in a universe reminiscent but vastly different from our own. Alright, I'm going to have to move where my face is. Humanity has spread to the four corners of the galaxy, subjugating all life. We've become the dominant species throughout the stars. Okay, let me... Whee. That work? I think that'll work. Cool. Moving on. Yet, we are far from secure. Oh, dear. War brews from the northern quadrant of the galaxy. Pact, the People's Alliance, has toppled the once mighty new empire. Led by a mysterious individual known only as Venixar Arcadius. Pact seeks to subjugate the galaxy under its new world order. Subjugate such a mean word. Distant from the brewing clouds of war, the neutral world of Sarah seems safe from the approaching packed war machine. It's on this quiet world where our journey begins. I love this music. Captain Kaito Shields looked out the window of his orbital shuttle. Below him, he could see the glittering orb that was his home, Sarah. Beyond it, a vast sea of stars stretched on for as far as the heavens. Shield leaned forward on a seat and spoke to his pilot. The pilot was obscured by his seat, and Shields could only hear his blurry voice humming to the tinny radio. Kaito, how much further till we get there? Just a moment, just a moment now. 
Can't wait until you meet your girl, can you, sir? Ooh. I haven't seen Ava since we were in high school. I doubt she even remembers me. Ooh. -oo. The commander? Psh. Not her. I meant the Sunrider, the newest ship in the fleet. Hey, Lamayo. Spoken like a true man. Here, let me turn the ship around and give you a view. Shields leaned against his window and laid his eyes on the Sunrider. That is a beautiful ship. That is a very beautiful ship. I'm going to try putting my stuff up here see if that gets it out of the way. Colossal in size but sleek looking. Shields found her to his liking. What kind of name is Shields though? That's just really weird. The behemoth vessel stuck struck a stuck a deadly image like a poised arrowhead at the ready. Aye there, have a look at her. So advanced that the brass needed to train a new line of officers to fly her. Kayato, she looks like a fine vessel. Pilot. Just hang tight, Captain. Won't be long now. The shuttle continued its docking approach. Shield sat tight as the shuttle neared the Sunrider and docked. I thought when he said, you know, can't wait to meet her, that he was going to talk about the ship, but this would be interesting. After exiting the shuttle, Shields walked through the airlock and entered the Sunrider's hangar. Okay. Ava, Captain on deck. You're not bad. Welcome aboard, Captain. First Officer Ava Crescentia reporting for duty. Ooh, I have to make choices. Do I stay professional or do I do I hint at our at our uh, our long time uh, standing? Uh, I want to see I, I want to see if she remembers me. It's been a while, Ava. Same to you, uh, Captain. The okay, Kai says the last time we saw each other was your graduation high school. I didn't ever dream that I'd become your commanding officer. Now does she remember him? Neither did I. Ow! That's got that, that that's got a sting. She didn't expect you to make it this far either. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna say I guess things have changed since then, okay? Honor the change. I guess things have changed since then. Ava says, I agree. Give me a portal of Sunrider status. We've been working for the past two weeks testing her systems. She's prepped to go on your word, sir. Nice. Good. Sounds like High Command wants us out of here ASAP. Mm, what I want? Do I want to know more about the Sunrider? Do I want to know more about the Alert? I'll probably find out more about the uh, Sunrider as you go, but let's find out about this Alert. Don't tell me you don't know. Reiner surrendered to Pact just this morning. Okay. Already? That's another neutral world that's been taken by Pact. Not only that, but Pact's taken Minerva, Barona, and Gerald in the past three months. Our neutral, one neutral planet after another. What do you think that means? Kaito says, encirclement. We're next. They're trying to circle around and, and, and uh, catch us. Okay. Exactly. So that's why High Command's not taking any risks. If any hostiles enter our gravity well, we're to open fire first and ask questions later. Okay. Uh, let's find out more about the Sunrider. Okay. She's the newest ship in the fleet. She's armed like a warship, but built like a carrier. We could field... Up to 12 riders. Are those the mechs? Are those the mechs in this game? Hmm, we'll see. We can feel that the 12 riders and also provide capital ship support for them. Okay. Her biggest asset is the Vanguard Cannon. They took a gun from a battleship class warship, modified it extensively, and put it on top of our ship. Still, it works like a charm. It can rip holes through ships twice as big as ours. Okay. So they took, a ba uh, they took something from... A much bigger ship and they just strapped it on to the top of a much smaller ship okay maybe we'll be more mobile okay not only that but the Sunrider can be flown with a crew of just 50 it has one of the most efficient warp drives in the fleet we'll be able to jump across the galaxy in just days Kaito sounds like a fine vessel I don't know why I want to give him like the old the grizzly like they graduate the same class so alright let's move on First, a tour of the ship. But you just told me about the ship. Okay, whatever. As you've noticed, the this is the Sunrider's hangar. We could store up to 12 riders here. Okay. I don't see any riders here. Where are they now? We won't be receiving them until Wednesday. Once they're here, though, you'll be able to access them and order equipment changes here. Yeah, because this is a tactical one. Okay. 
This is an interactive map of the Sunrider. You can use it to navigate around the ship. Okay. We're going to head up to the bridge above us on deck one. Okay. Try using the map to navigate there. Make sure you click on the deck one tab first. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here's the map. There's a hangar bay. There's deck zero. Captain's quarters, sick bay mess hall. Okay. These ones that are grayed out, I probably just can't go to yet. Okay. Ooh, first officer's quarters. Okay. That's the hangar bay. That's where I am. No. Oh. It's so weird. When I hover over her, she's got like the, the mark that means she's angry about something. So she the angry one? This is the Sunrider's main bridge. This is where you'll be commanding the ship. That's a pretty fancy star map in the middle. Oh, is that what that thing is right there? A star map? Okay. You can use that star map to plot our course and to warp to other systems. It it all I'll also usually be here if you ever need me. Wow, I couldn't talk there for a second. Oh wait, I'm over her face. This is not acceptable. I'll just run with this with my face in the tiny corner and hope I don't get in anybody's face. <laughs> I usually be here if you ever need me. Okay. Okay. Oh, now she's taking me to engineering. Okay. This is engineering. The ship's main reactor is located here, and we can also use the lab to research and construct new equipment. Unfortunately, the research lab is not open yet. So do I unlock that as I go? Is that just the thing I unlock as I go? Okay. That's also going to be available on Wednesday? Correct. Okay. So when, the, when, when we get the, the fighters is when we get that. Okay. All right. So that's engineering. Research and development is locked until I get new things. Cargo base probably a lot till I get new things. I just came from there. Mess hall. This is the ship's mess hall. We can come down here to eat and relax after work. Sounds good. The better I have vegan food. Ooh, you're my quarters. Finally, these are your personal quarters. Looks like I've moved up in life. Wow, it's almost like a loft in Sarah City. Please don't mess up your room too much, Captain. Wait, do you have to clean? Do you have to clean up after me? I've already got some ideas on how to redecorate it. He's thinking. You can come here to access your personal logs and other material. Furthermore, if a member of the crew needs your help with something, they'll be waiting outside of your door. Ooh, okay. All right. You can use your map to walk around the ship. You're engaged. You're encouraged to interact with your crewmates whenever possible. Okay. All right, a happy ship makes for a strong ship. Good to know. And that concludes our tour. Like I said, I'll be in the bridge most of the time, so you can come to me if you need help. All right. So what's next? I'm afraid we'll have to cut the formality short, Captain. Like I said, command wants us out of dry dock as soon as possible. We're scheduled for our first live engine test. Wait, they haven't tested the engine? What? We'll be sailing uh, port shortly and making one loop around the moon fine with me let's return to the bridge and see what the sunrider is capable of all hands this is your captain speaking main station man your stations activate the main reactor light up the engines momentarily we'll begin a live test of our engines by sailing port and making one round one round to the moon we would enter orange alert as soon as we clear port raise shields and scan for any possible hostiles I know this is just a test, but keep your guard up. I want everyone to be on their feet in case we run into any problems. Main reactor is coming away, Captain. Power increasing. I don't know. I want to give her a voice. Uh, it just seems so weird. I just want to give her a voice. I'll give her a voice. Power is increasing. Ah, that's a weird voice. Wake our lady up, Ava. We're getting out of here. Aye, sir. Helmsman, light up the engines. Engineering reports the reactor is working within parameters. Power is increasing to the engines. Blast off in three, two. Uh. 
What the hell was that? Checking statuses. Engineering reports the reactor core is still stable. No explosions reported in either deck zero or two. Captain, the only place the blast could have come from is outside. Outside? As in, contact! Packed warp signatures detected. What? Missile boats, they jumped in right under our noses. Red alert, cancel the engine test. Aye, Captain, all hands battle stations. This is not a drill. This is turning out to be one hell of a maiden flight. Ava, what's our weapon status? Limited. The Vanguard cannon is still offline. We have flak turrets and a few shots of hell darts. Captain, you're not seriously thinking of taking the Sunrider into battle, are you? We haven't even completed our engine test, much less any munitions checks. No time like the present, Ava. Oh my gosh, that's such a terrible plan. Is there anyone else? The rest of the fleet should be there. And from sound of things, I don't think the pack's going to wait for us to finish our tests. Get this ship operational double time. Aye, sir. Helmsman, all power to engines. Warning, we have one enemy, one in, we have inbound one enemy. Blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. An enemy missile frigate took aim at the Sunrider. Captain Shields gritted his teeth at the Sunrider engine sparked to life painfully slowly. Oh no! Ava! Will he confess his feelings as the explosions go off? Well, that's one way to get out of dry, dry dock. Simultaneously as the frigate launched a swarm of missiles at the uh, as the simultaneously as the frigate launched a swarm of missiles at the Sunrider, her engines roar, roared to life, lurching the ship forward. The missile struck the dry dock support exactly as the Sunrider flew out of the resulting fireball. Behind her, the dry dock collapsed in a chaos of steel and fire. We got it there just in time. Captain Shields breathed a sigh of relief while Ava looked utterly unaffected by the peril they were just in. Okay, robot. We're in the clear. Sunrider is joining the fight. Fire weapons. Take those bastards out. Battle stations. All right, let's see how the combat works in this game. Okay. Welcome to the tactical screen, Captain. From here, you can issue orders to the crew during battle. In front, you see the battle grid. This grid shows where friendlies and enemies are positioned on the battlefield. You may click and drag your left mouse button to move the camera around the battle grid. Further, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I don't want to do that because the mouse wheel doesn't work. To issue an order to any unit, you may simply select that unit under your command indicated by the blue ring then you may either order the unit to move to another grid or use or to use an attack moving and attacking expense energy each unit has a finite amount of energy points once all of the units on your command no longer have enough energy to act you must end your turn okay pack units are indicated by the red ring your current objective is to eliminate all pack units from the map the sunriders armed with a comprehensive suite of weapons to fulfill this task uh, laser based weapons have the strongest range but deal little damage Kinetic weapons have short range, pack a punch. Missile based weapons have both long range and firepower, but are limited in supply. Okay. Uh, and so must be used wisely. Can I? No, I don't want to. Okay, because I could not hear myself think right there. There we go. Okay, cool. Still getting used to this thing. Laser-based weapons have the longest range, but deal little, 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 little. Okay, so that's about the weapons. Cool. Using Use the Sunrider's weapons to eliminate the packed missile frigates. Good luck, Captain. Okay. So I'm assuming this is like Battletech where the red squares are as far as I can go. Got it. Okay. How much energy do I have? I have... I'm presuming this is 0% chance of hitting. 80% chance of hitting. Uh... 
Okay. Only have one missile barrage. The enemy will be neutralized. Okay, fire the missiles. On target. Okay. But didn't take it down. This could be problematic. Still got a little bit of HP left. Does the click? Can I shoot again? Okay, all right. How much energy? Commencing fire. Okay. Hey. The attack is successful. Hey, Lamayo. Got no more movement left. I don't know how much energy I have. That took 100 energy. Do I get 100? Oh, here it is. Over here. Okay. Yes, get 100 energy each turn. Got it. Okay. As long as it'll take me down this turn, I should be able to take them down next turn. Ow. Let's Our hold is holding. Good. So the right play was to not move and just take one out because that, that cut down on the amount of damage I took. Got it. A little bit slow on the graphics. Oh, I have to click. Okay. The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. I don't have any more missiles. Not really. That was not successful at all. That 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 was bad. Okay. All right. That was terrible. That was actually a waste of energy. Okay. Let's see if I build more energy in the next turn. How many missiles do you have? Our hole is beginning to fracture. Don't worry, I have a plan. The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. Engage the enemy face to face. Firing ordinance. So the kinetic's supposed to do the most damage. On target. Hey. So I should be able to take him down next turn. So if I hadn't wasted energy on the assault and just move 
further forward. Eh. So we have the the close range unlimited ammo that does a lot of damage. We have the long range unlimited ammo. Ooh, this is getting problematic. Sections 32, 16, and 2 have been compromised. Whoops. Issue your command. We will engage the enemy face to face. Yeah, boy. Initiating shock and awe. Get that shock and awe. The attack is successful. So that was a mess. I have to pay for repair? Okay. Alright. I, 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 I should have been more careful. Our forces are pushing the remaining pack units back. The pack frigates are no longer a threat. Okay. Join the rest of our fleet. Let's pitch in to help. Uh, let's pitch in with the mop up operation. Aye, Captain. Two Mr. Frigates down with hardly a scratch. Not bad for my purse command. Eh, it was a little more than a scratch. <laughs> Charge up uh, Trinities again. Let's give the rest of those missile frigates a parting gift before they warp out, Sarah. Aye, Captain. Charging Trinities. They must have been trying to warp in missile frigates to take out our ships before we could respond. Given how small the attack force was, though, I say the entire operation was... Alert! New contacts on scanner. Oh, okay. More missile frigates? No, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those look like missile frigates. Oh, hey, look! It's the enemy ship! And it's red. Sweet mother of God. What is that thing? I don't remember the pact having anything that colossal. I'm just getting intel from HQ. It's the pact Super Dreadnought Class Ship, Class Warship Legion. Over three kilometers in length, armed with enough guns to take down a fleet three times our size by itself. That thing's Venzikar S. Acadius' personal flagship. Oh. HQ has issued a general retreat. All units are to fall back. The Prime Minister's office has been advised to an issue an immediate unconditional surrender. Retreat? It's over already? We're not winning that fight. Warning, I'm detecting a massive power surge coming from it. Wait, brace for impact. Well, the lasers aren't supposed to be very damaging, right? Oh. We're the only one that didn't get, like, penetrated. What disgusting firepower. Battleship Gallant and Bohemian Maiden have been sunk. The Fearless has sustained heavy damage. Hall breaches report on Section 34A. Our port trinities are no longer operative. Break away. Our ship doesn't stand a chance against that. You right. The enemy warship is powering its weapons again. Hold up. That was that was not on the chart. Report? The warship nuked Sarah City with that last shot. I'm still trying to figure out the scope of the damage, but unbelievable. To use a weapon of that magnitude on a civilian target? More than a million civilians have been lost. All contacts have been lost with our civilian and military leadership. The rest of the Sarah Space Force is scattering. We're going to get overwhelmed if we don't get out of here. What are your orders, Captain? What do we do? Captain? The Sunrider began to pound as more enemies arrived. Shields wiped sweat from his brow and saw that his hand was soaked. The pounding wasn't coming from the enemy. It was his own heart. Fall back. Fall back. Warp to the near safe harbor. Understood. Navigator, punch in the fallback coordinates into the computer. Spool up the warp drive and prepare to jump. 
Shields took a final look at his burning homeworld. This wasn't the end. He was going to be back, no matter the cost. Warp out in three, two. Oh, is that the main character? Okay, white hair dude. Cool, I've always wanted to have white hair. Cool. Alright, I, I approve. I approve of this message. Warp! That's an exciting first portion of this, Sunrider. Shield sat in his office, writing his daily log. It's been a week since the fall of Sarah. Despite our best efforts, we've been unable to regroup the rest of the Sarah Space Force. The crew is starting to fear that we may be the only ones that got out of that massacre in one piece. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to believe that too. Right, let me save right now. Okay, so I've saved. Okay, cool. Nah, no, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Okay. Uh, I'll go... Uh, geez, I want to know what's next. Uh, we'll go a little bit further. We'll go a little bit longer. I don't know what we're going to do or what next step to take. All I know is that we're going to be alone from now. The door will interrupt S.H.I.E.L.D.'s thoughts. Come in. Ava, Captain. Any news in the fleet? None. Dot, dot, dot. The crew's beginning to get worried. We've been doing nothing but scanning for the past weeks. If the packed force finds us, we're sitting ducks here. Do we give up the search, or do we... I don't want to give up the search for any survivors. But I have to think about the team. Also, part of me is hoping if we keep searching, we'll find an ally. No, but... I gotta think of the crew. I gotta... As as Tets always says, you have to focus on the those who are who you know are currently alive, as opposed to those who might not be. That's agreed. I think we've wasted enough time here. What's left of our government surrendered and was dissolved six days ago. I don't think there's any hope in looking for our military anymore. Ava, tell me something. What's a ship without a flag, sir? Well, a pirate ship. <laughs> I will I, I I will wave the Jolly Roger flag, yes. <laughs> Are you suggesting we go rogue? I don't think we have much of a choice. Our government What are you going rogue to? You, there's no government anymore. <laughs> Our government's no more. We're gonna have to go it alone from now on. So what are you suggesting? Pact won't get away with what they did to our home. We're gonna take the fight to them. With just our one ship? We'll find allies. We're not the only neutral world to have been conquered by them. We'll find others like this, build the fleet together, and retake all of our planets one by one. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you've already got a plan. Do I say I'm not the kid you remember? But this is a really childish plan. And I don't know their childhood. So, uh... It's a good thing they put me as your first officer. I don't even want to imagine how much trouble you'd cause if I weren't here to clean up after you. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. Is that all you can remember of me from high school? Well, I do recall that you were certainly one of the most frustrating youths for a student council president to have to deal with. I remember the time you installed an anti-gravity device in the student council room. It was impossible getting everything cleaned up afterwards. Ah, that little thing. Come on. You had a good laugh afterwards, didn't you? No. In the meantime, what are your orders? Warp to the nearest neutral planet of uh, Tidaria. Chances are, after the fall of Sarah, 
the more they'll be more than likely to be jittery about pack. Understood. The ship will be prepared to warp at your command. Uh, let's ask him about the people. It's important to be to know about the people. The ship can be fixed. How are you holding up? I'm fine, Captain. There's no reason to worry about me. Are you sure? Yes, we've got more immediate problems than that. I suppose you're right. Indeed. Still, if you need to talk about anything, my door is always open. Let's see the status in the Sunrider. She's had better days. We had to sail port before we could finish any of our tests. Our missiles are empty and our Vanguard cannon is still online. Offline. And that's not even the worst. We had to leave Sarah before we could pick up any of our riders. Not only that, but we're missing our chief engineer and our doctor. Both research and development and the sick bay are still dark. Oh my gosh. Whew. Try to make do with what we have. We'll have to resupply and finish our test at uh, Tidaria. On that note, I have one more issue. Running a ship is going to take money. I've looked into some ways to raise some immediate cash. Okay, all right, girl. You bought it. The various galactic powers all post bounties on rival factions. I've been putting together a folder containing letters of mark uh, from all governments currently aligned against Pact. In other words, our only way of making money right now is privateering for other planets. We have a grudge against Pact, which is pretty much... Oh, okay. In other words, our only way of making money right now is privateering for other planets, which have a grudge against Pact, which is pretty much everyone, I'm guessing. Correct. We'll be paid a sum of money for each pack target we sink. The bigger the target, the bigger the reward. All right, keep me posted on the money situation. I've already asked that. Report to the bridge. I'll see you once I'm ready. Understood. So, we've got no fighters. You can use the star map at the center of the bridge to plot our course. Okay. Okay. Sarah, class 11 planet, habitable population of 4.5 billion, is one of the most industrious planets of the neutral rim. Sarah has long been sought after by the galaxy's main powers. However, its distance from both the Alliance and the former Empire have allowed Sarah to remain relatively neutral in galactic politics. Formerly ruled by a tyrannical regime, the people of Sarah are skeptical of nationalistic governance and are an individualistic, individualistic lot. While certainly powerful enough to play a large role in the galaxy, Sarans have been content to remain on the sidelines and let the Alliance and Pact play out their squabbles far away from Sarah. Oh, so we can't travel there. Okay. Tidaria, class 3 planet, arid population 3 million. Okay, this is a much, much less populated place. Dry and scarce in creature comforts, the neutral planet of Tidaria would be omitted from most star maps if not for its rich ore deposits. Consequently, most of Tidaria's Inhabitants are related to the mining industry in some form. Tidarians are as rugged as the rocks which line the surface of Tidaria and possess a straightforward and humorless attitude. Tidarians are fierce mercantilists and will pinch every penny out of a deal. While rich in ore, Tidaria's hostile climate has protected it from being from foreign encroachment. Tidaria has no strong alignment with either Pact or Alliance and has generally favored whoever paid for its ore. Okay. Repair and resupply. All right. Aye, Captain. Course laid in. All hands, this is the commander speaking. We will momentarily jump space to the neutral world of Tidaria. Assume jump stations and await further orders on dropout. The jump drive is functioning as expected, Captain. Course status is green on your word. Warp! Okay. All right. Warp complete, Captain. We're arriving at the mining world of Tidaria. Okay. What kind of help do you think we'll get here? Resources and supplies, at least. There's a big space mining operation going on 
around the rings of the planet. You might want to hold that thought. I'm detecting unknown vessels on intercept course for us. Flag? I'm not finding any of them on any of the flag registries. Okay. Oh, damn. Pirates. Red alert. Raise shields of power weapons. But we're pirates now. We're being hailed. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. All right. Okay. That's an interesting flight, too. This is the Pirate Rider Havoc. Lower your shields and surrender your cargo. Stand down. This is an armed warship of the Sarah Space Force. Will not hesitate to open fire if you approach. Sarah Space Force, huh? Your ship will make a lovely addition to my pirate fleet after we've dealt with you, of course. She looks like she's a short little kid. Boys, rough them up! Ava, what's the situation? Two pirate riders inbound fast, both infantry class. There's one more bomber class rider leading them. Designation Havoc. Also, two pirate destroyers are approaching. Estimated time until arrival, 10 minutes. Let's try to end this before the destroyers get here. Concentrate all fire power on the lead pirate rider. Okay. Besides, she just looks like a little girl. Maybe a little show of force will help put her in her place. That's a terrible plan. Captain, please don't underestimate the enemy. Yeah, this is, this is just so such a terrible plan to be like, hey, she's a little kid. Scare her, she'll be fine. We'll be fine. We have that number, Captain. What are your orders? Concentrate on the lead bomber. These pirates think about nothing but themselves. Once Cosette realizes we mean business, she'll probably back off. Understood, Captain. Let's hope this goes as planned. Objective, destroy Havoc. Okay. That's Havoc. The Sunrider awaits orders. Should hit something. Oh. We have struck the enemy. Not for very much. She has interceptors. Okay. Her grunts also intercepted. Okay. That was rude. Unleashing firestorm. This is probably gonna hurt. It appears your luck is holding, Captain. Let's light this guy up. Okay. That's rude. Our hole is holding. Lasers is going to be problematic. Our hole is beginning to fracture. Our hole is beginning to fracture. have been compromised that's problematic this is gonna get rough is on deck zero oh. that's the hangar is that's that's bad
preventing air in four sections. Our systems are stretched to capacity. How did so many missiles get through? Are the gunners blind, Ava? We're still recovering from Sarah Captain. The Sunriders giving her their all. Now's a chance. Take their engines out, but leave the ship intact. We'll board and cut down the crew hand to hand. You're awfully persistent for a little girl, aren't you? Did you, did you just call me? Little! Oh, look at those crazy eyes. She's got the crazy eyes. I'm about to, I'm about to die. Painful, demeaning death. Kill them all, but leave the captain for me. Okay. All right. Captain, please do not provoke the enemy. No, I totally know what I'm doing. Just one problem. I, you, you make... Okay. Yo, who you be? The cavalry has arrived. What is that? Wait. What the, what the... Who are you? A hero of justice. Ugh. Looks like you use a hand here. Don't worry. My blackjack will take care of these guys in a flash. She's flying a mercenary rider licensed by the United Mining Guild captain. Probably hired security for the mining operation on Tidaria. You think we can trust her? Doesn't look like we don't have a choice. They're going to tear me apart. All right, pilot of the blackjack. Let's see what you got. No problem. Her name's Asaga. Ooh. By the way, did you know about repeating attacks? Some weapons, like assault rifles, don't deal much damage, but shooting multiple times in a single attack, it's a good way to deal reliable damage against the units with high evasion like riders. Okay. Watch out, though. They're totally units useless against intact units with armor like bombers and capital ships. Okay. Of course, if you punch a lot of holes in their armor with big guns first, even a little pea shooter will mess them up good. If you select a weapon, the third number listed on the enemy unit is the unit's armor rating. Be careful when you're using your kinetic type weapons, especially because armor is twice as effective against kinetics. Okay. Let's go get him. Okay. She's got a hundred. Wow, her stuff's pretty cheap. Um, Forward and onward. Okay. It's time to bring out the circus. Okay. Attack successful. That's gotta hurt. That didn't do very much damage. A lot of stuff got intercepted there. The Sunrider is at your disposal, Captain. No, I don't want to use my kinetic. There we go. I should open with these. We have struck the enemy. All ahead, full. All right, so we've laid some damage on oh, the command. Zero. It's gonna get rough. I'm hoping once I bring her down, everything will be better. I gotta work on it. Maybe I have to adjust the graphics level, see if it plays a little bit smoother. Our systems are catastrophically failing one by one. Captain. 
I gotta end this next turn or else I'm dead. to reduce you to size. More where that came from. Okay. Now let's see how she responds to that. Issue your command. Please do enough damage to bring her down. Yes. The hit is solid, Captain. Okay. Hopefully, when she goes down, everybody else does. Because if she doesn't, if that's not how this works, and I'm, I'm, I, I am very SOL. <laughs> so realistically, I should have been using my lasers to lay into the guards in front of her first. These guys aren't worth it. Fall back. Enemy ships are bugging out. We got them. Ooh, that sure was exciting. Open up our hangar bay. You have permission to dock, Blackjack. And to explain yourself. Roger that. Coming aboard. I still get points for the surrendered units. And the repair cost wasn't terrible. It was pretty high, though. The repair cost ate up most of the surrender bonus, so that, that's kind of depressing. Let's see, surrender bonus, one, two, four. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who that sure was Harry. I didn't ever think those pirates would pick on a military ship. Stop right there, pilot. You're going to have to get searched for weapons. I want to be I want to be lenient because she's a redhead. But I got to say sorry, regular regular protocol. Um, does this mean I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get groped by the mean lady beside you, L lady? <laughs> I'm Captain Kaido Shields with the Assault Carrier Sunrider. The mean lady beside me is Commander Ava Crescentia, and who are you? Asaga Okran, pilot of the Blackjack. Thanks for the help out there. Eh, don't worry, those guys are nothing. So what exactly are you doing out here? I can't imagine a lone rider operating out here for no reason. Oh, nothing, just keep the spaceway safe. Safe. Don. Da -da! Coming to the rescue whenever the weak are oppressed. It's the hero of justice, the vanguard of the innocent. For love, freedom, and a, just a little bit of money on the side, I'm a saga of the Blackjack. Let me guess, you're a freelancer. 
I guess you could call me that. I think I found best girl. Space around here is pretty dangerous, so the mining union's been paying me to bust up any pirates around here. Easier said than done, though. Those guys are harder to kill than cockroaches. Alright, so. Right here, I am... I'm going to end it right here. Uh, actually, can I save here? Can I? No, I cannot. So let's let's just finish this course of conversation. Then I'll save. Then I'm going to end it. This has been a fun blast. Let's see if we get any other details. All right. Tell me more about your freelancing. I've been wandering around the neutral room looking for odd jobs here and there. I'd like to call myself an adventurer. You can do this alone as a single writer? Eh, not really. I have Chigar to help me out. She's the one who built me my blackjack here. Chigara, is she an engineer? You can call her that. She's a genius when it comes to technology, and she can fix just about anything mechanical. I'm betting we'll get to meet this Chigara very soon. The pirates in this sector are led by a nasty girl named Cosette Cosmos. You've already met her. What's a little girl doing committing piracy? That's a good question. She may look like a brat, but don't underestimate her. She's feared in this whole sector as a ruthless pirate. I even heard a rumor that the other day that she slit her own paw's throat for not buying her candy on her 14th birthday. That's that, that's messed up. I'm not sure if I really believe. And then there's this other one about her ship, the Havoc, being filled with rats that she keeps as pets. Okay. Anyways, I've had a couple run-ins with her, and I could say she's not to be trifled with. Be careful of the Havoc's anti-matter missiles. Those will definitely put more than a dent on any capital ship's hull. The Havoc's only weakness is that they're pretty slow and sluggish, so it can be picked off by other riders. Good to know. The Mining Union, I work for them right now. I don't really know much about them besides the fact that they mine the ore on Tidaria and pay me money to take out the pirates. A lady by the name of Sophidia is my contact with the Union. If you're looking for some work, she'd be the person to talk to around here. What do they think of Pact? Nothing much, really. They don't really pick sides as long as they can keep mining. I wonder how long that's going to last. Are you guys... Hey, you guys are a part of the former Sarah Space Force, huh? That's right. Why don't we join forces for a while? From the look of things, you seem to be an assault carrier without any riders. Help me take care of these pirates and I'll join you guys as the Sunrider's first rider. Okay. Captain, we don't know if we can trust this girl. We've only just met her. Uh, I, I'd say she can, she, she I knew you were going to say, legitimately, we need, we, we need fighters. I'm glad you agree, Captain. For now, the Sunrider needs repair and supplies. We'll make a way to Tidaria and dock there, then we'll decide our next course of action. Oh, Chigara has a workshop on Tidaria. I'm sure she'll be able to fix up your ship in no time. All right, if your friend can help us, we can head to her workshop. Eva and I are going to head up to the bridge now. You should stay here uh, with your ship or your rider. We'll call you on the comm if anything comes up. Can't believe you're seriously going to let her stay on board. What's the matter? Nothing. It's just... What are you waiting for? The quicker we get to Tidaria, the less I need to worry about a fleet of pirate ships warping in around us. Just use the star map and order the Sunrider to the workshop. I've already put in the coordinates on the computer. You should be able to find it without any problems. Okay. Questing permission to dock. Stardust Bakery. Okay. Bakery? Okay. We offer a cupcake, cream puff, strawberry cakes, and various options. Oh. And we might do Starship repairs? Alright, get cupcakes while we wait for Starship repairs. Okay. It's getting weirder and weirder by the minute. If I can just come aboard, I'll be able to survey the extent of the repairs and give you a quote. How's that? Sure, I think we have a friend of yours waiting in the hangar too. Alright, Chigara. Okay. Alright, introducing everybody. It's nice to meet you. You must be Chigara. Chigara Lynn Ashida. Okay. It's 
Starters Bakery is the best place to get pastries in Tidaria. The only place. Cupcakes, cream puff sandwiches, we have it all. Do you get a lot of business? No, everyone seems much more interested in getting their ship fixed. So why don't you just open a dry dock instead of a bakery? It's always been her goal to run a bakery. Can't just shut a... Okay, alright, alright. Can't shut a girl's dream down. Okay. Maybe we should consider giving it up. It feels so awkward selling cupcakes like to the starship fuel. That might be breaking a couple like health code things. Uh, we place for workshop. Primary worlds. I've been renting this dock from the Union and patching up ships with a saga for a while now. As long as I service the Union ships, they've been very supportive of my efforts here. Well, aside from the bakery. I was referring more to yourself. I guess you can call me one of those people like a saga, a freelancer. Yeah, that. Something tells me there's more to this pair than letting on. These girls don't exactly fit my image of freelancers. Yeah, that's true. To get out of business, the Sunriders need to repair. It's not only that, but I still need to complete our test and resupply. Most of the damage seems to have been to the outer hull. It shouldn't be too hard to repair. Uh, now, I think you're understand understating things. Top of line. Blah, blah, blah. It's not going to be like scraping a meteor meteoroid impact from a mining ship. Don't worry, Chigar is a crazy genius when it comes to her technology. I've never seen a single machine that she couldn't fix. Look over there. See that? That's a busted power converter that took a lab of 12 scientists a month to make. There's no way you could fix that. Actually, I made this little contraption while I sleep yesterday night. I was really confused when I woke up and saw a power converter on my bed, but I think it should work perfectly for your ship. Alright guys, um, I'm going to be overriding my save and quick saving. Thanks for coming along on this ride with me. I will continue on with some more of Sunrider Mask of Arcadius as I figure out what's happening and why this girl makes power converters in her sleep. This is where I check out. Have a good one everybody. Remember the motto. Shoot through the stars, have wonderful adventures, live your dreams, and always, always, always enjoy some memes. Have a good one, everybody. Oh, well, like, comment, subscribe. Please.